Hello everybody and welcome to Surviving Mars. I am Thindog and this is going to be my first time playing Surviving Mars in kind of like a let's try fashion. Uh, it is or was at least probably when this video comes out it was free on Humble Bundle so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a whirl since I have and play lots of other Paradox games. So we're just gonna dive straight into this and start a new game. Um, I have only played the tutorial so far, other than a small 15 minute test recording I did. So uh, we're gonna keep everything on very easy, or at least everything on its first settings that it shows up as. So what we have here, our mission sponsor is the International Mars mission, which will set our difficulty to very easy. Give us, uh, I guess that's uh, 30,000 million dollars. Um, so I guess 30 billion dollars. We get five starting rockets. Um, I'm not sure what all that means. I guess that's free rockets I can just get with stuff I need. Um, We'll have 200 starting applicants to sort through when we have people move to Mars. And we get 30 science a day, or a soul. And our rare metal sells for $25 million. Um, yep, yeah, uh, there's various other bonuses, like uh, colonists not getting earth sick, which will be pretty nice. We have our rocket scientist, which gives us an extra rocket. So I think that puts us at six rockets? Not sure. Um, we also get CO2 jet propulsion for shuttle hubs faster. Uh, our logo. Um, uh, let's do... Oh. Final countdown. And our game rules this allows you to add various events and things to help you out and customize your playthrough some. I'm just going to leave this as none. And let it be how it is. Oh, our uh, our mystery. It's like a way to set a storyline of what's going on in the world. Uh, like this one is a, a plague on Earth. Um, who knew that pandemics could happen? Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm just gonna leave it on random because I don't know enough about them. So let's hop in. Uh, for this here. I, again, like, don't really know what all I should start off with. So, I'm just gonna, I guess, let it be. Because, you know, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, and colony site. There was one place I saw... That wasn't too high of a difficulty challenge that it says up here. Uh, let's see if I can refind it. I think this is it. Yep, Xanthi Alpha. Uh, has high metals, high water, a little bit low on other things. So hopefully it should be like a nice, uh, a nice start for a new player. So if you are also playing this first time, might be a good place to start off at. At least that's what I'm doing from my first playthrough. Welcome to Mars. Welcome to Mars, Commander. Mission Control log number one. Welcome to Mars. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo. Our remote controlled eyes and hands on the red planet the drones and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building the first Martian drone. This daunting endeavor will allow the brave pioneers, the founders, to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable. But until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources, water, oxygen, and power. Our mission sponsor is the International Mars Mission, and our commander profile is the rocket scientist. 
Ah, uh, it has given me a designated landing site. Um, so let's uh throw down this rocket. Uh, let's make sure it's in range of these resources. Uh, so I'm just gonna throw it right here. It's Liberty One. It's like a face, a little shark torpedo. Alright. Um, these like take up such a large portion of my screen, I feel like. Uh, yes, build a large solar panel. Thank you. Alright, so let's uh, open up research and start working down our engineering. Uh, because in my little test game, I realized I don't have a way to make fuel unless I potentially break. Go down the engineering path. So we'll start off with engineering. Um, we will also select a place to scan. I'm going to select here because of it, all of its buildable area. Um, so now let's build our first building. Firstly, we need our drone hub to help power and control our drones. Um, there was like a nice little layout that I started off as. Yeah, right here. So we'll set this right here. Um, and that will allow the drones to be able to recharge and run off of this. Uh, but of course, with that, we will also need some power. So I'm just going to set up both of these generators to go on either side of it just to give us some nice power to start off with um at least from the tutorials i did the next thing it sh i should build is the concrete to have more building resources well first i'm gonna start down a depot so that the uh robots can unload our ship i'm gonna set that there and then I'm going to preemptively set up a concrete depot right here and a waste drop right there. And now I'm going to place down our uh, concrete depot. Con concrete extractor, I should say. So I don't know if me put barely putting it on the patch makes it less effective. But I'm going to try and cover this patch as much as possible. So I'm going to set it right here. And one thing you saw it just say was that there is no cable connection. So I am going to build some power lines uh, to run from it to our power station here. And that should power that up quite nicely. Um, yes, thank you game speed. You can control the game speed by hitting plus or minus, or by clicking down here on the speed levels. So we see uh, we have our guys grabbing some metal in order to place down these wires and also to build this extractor. Um, here's the Liberty One. I need to refuel it to be able to send it back to Earth. So, to refuel, this is where I start to get into the realm of the unknown. In the tutorial, it had me build the water moisture vaporizer to make water. And then from there, it had me build uh, where is it? The fuel refinery. But, as you can see here, I don't have a fuel refinery. Um, does that just say it's in physics?
Um, from Logi Hydrosynthesis. Is that? I guess it's one of these technologies here. So I'll queue up that technology. Um, and I'm gonna be right back once I figure out how to proceed next and also give time to collect some resources. All right, I figured out how to do what we need to do. I originally thought you can't get more rockets while you still have your rockets. But then I remembered it said we had four rockets. So if I come into this resupply menu, I can request another cargo rocket. So through there, I can ask for the uh, fuel refinery. So I'm going to request for that. And then I am also going to request for some... Uh, I'm just going to request for a bunch of things. Just in case we need them. Because I don't know... What we might need. Um, we're just going to kind of like ask for a bunch of things. Um... I would like another generator. Eh, that's expensive. Um, and we'll just get some, maybe another drone. Don't need more food. Get, I don't know if I need more drones right now. Um, we have concrete coming, getting more of these. I think that should be good for now. So I'm going to, uh, I guess, launch this rocket now. Or is there any more prefab buildings I want? Maybe another set here, just so I can make even more fuel. I don't know. Um, travel times are significant. Okay. So let's launch that. Um, and then there, uh, this is, we'll build some scanners to work on scanning. Um, let's if I can remember where the scanners are, right here, sensor towers. Uh, so I'll put this right here. Help scan nearby regions. And let's also get some of the water extractors going. So I'm gonna set this here. And, uh, I'm not sure what this radius is, but I'm also going to build a water tower so we can store some of the water. Uh, where's this connectors? Okay. So we're going to build a water tower right here. Uh, the pipes there, and then let's run some power. Uh, power is under power. From here to here. Um, are these different grids? No. Cool. They're all con they're connected. Um. So now this should be getting some water. I'm gonna send this guy, not this guy, the explorer out. I guess I could use probes. Um. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Ooh. Select a sector to scan. 
let's send it's the explorer that does the anomalies. So he's gonna head there, scan that. Um, and we'll send or I guess queue up uh, just our surrounding little block here. Cool. Um, need rare metal extractors for that. I don't think I can make rare metal extractors yet. Uh, says I should build oxygen. Okay. I don't have any colonists yet, so I don't know if oxygen is really something I need. Um, this needs people. Which I don't have. Uh, I guess I can work on oxygen. So we'll build a moxie tank here Stone achieved. and also a uh, storage tank here as well and connect pipes let's go ahead and connect all of our pipes together uh, what milestone an anomaly what was the anomaly uh, We've collected valuable geographic data at the site of the anomaly. Analysis of the crust uh, yielded rare insights on the geolog geolog uh, geological history of Mars, especially about the ancient Theakin uh, the the period, in which volcanic activity released in. in uh, Immense amounts of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere. Several key hypotheses of the XO geo geologist were confirmed by our findings. The scientific community praised the findings, raising the status of our mission in the eyes of humanity. Our sponsor committed additional funds to the missions. So I can get two drone hub prefabs, some moisture vaporizer prefabs, or money. Um. This is like one of the things where I don't know what the best option is yet. So I'm going to go with moisture vaporizers. Does it just give them to me or are they? Oh, it just gave them to me. Um, they didn't even need to come on a rocket. Look at that. Um, so that's going. Um, I should probably build more power, just for now, and our second rocket is here. Sector scanned. Uh, there's nothing up there, what a surprise. So this will allow us to build fuel. Is this building up? Yeah. Okay, so now that we have this, I can build the fuel refinery, which I have. Oh yeah, I have two. I was like, why do I have two? I requested two of them. Be a good reason to have two. Okay, we got that, and oh, might as well go ahead and build. Both of them. And uh, connect some uh, priorities set. Okay. Uh, we'll set, uh, set our pipes over. Um, let's set it right here. I think that should connect both, yeah. Um, domes. So I can build some domes now. 
Um, so I want to. I need to do them in this direction, so I can uh, be able to mine those rare metals for money. Um, so let's get power down to here. Um. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, did those power connected though? I think, yeah. So I can't build it through the uneven terrain there. Um, I would like a fuel depot. So we'll make a depot for the fuel here. Um, can I actually build a dome? I can't. I can build a self-sufficient dome. Uh, Research complete. So it makes... Build a basic dome. What are the difference? Oh, what? It places everything it needs? That's something. Um. That's handy for later. I wish I knew about that. Um, let's build this. And then we can add when our power up to it and our cables. But I will need more power. Resources are low. Um I'm just, this looks like very gross right now. I'll have to clean this up at some point, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> it's a mess. Uh, can I put pipe here? I want to go, I think, here to there. And then I run power up. So I wish the life support and power were kind of in the same spot. There. Okay. So these are getting loaded up. Uh, you don't have any exports, which is kind of sad. But I think our next ship will be our milestone achieved. Sector fun. scanned. Ooh. Got some water. Um, we have a building not working. What's not working? This. Uh. Why isn't it working? I just need more power. We need more power! Um, oh, problems. I'm going to set you to just come out and retrieve all of this and unload it here. Okay, so this is ready to launch. Uh, I think I just launch it back. I don't really have anything back for it. I guess I should have waited so I could put this here. Oh well. 
It is what it is. Let's just get you out of here. Um, you're not making us any money as you leave. I don't even know what would what we'd send. Ooh, the Great Leap. Our science team on Earth has just made a daunting discovery. The downpour of new scientific data from Mars, our team made an unheard breakthrough in the field. A new advanced technology has been revealed from our chosen field. The new technology costs less research. Um, let's go with engineering. Um, oh, I thought it'd show up over here. Does not. Fuel compressors. Okay, we're doing physics right now. Um, better power. And then... We'll go here, here, and here. Or do there and then there. That way we can get food and stuff up and going. You are lacking concrete. Well, we're making concrete. What are you lacking? Concrete, concrete. You're lacking water. Um, so I can throw up another water vapor. And another water vapor. Sector scanned. Uh, let's launch you. Goodbye. Um, launch the market. Uh oh, heavy load problem. Uh, there's a drone that's having an issue. I don't know what that means. Okay. Done now, whatever. Whatever had just happened. Oh, you know what? It's because I don't have enough power, so that's kind of eating that. Um, let's turn you off at night. For now. Actually, our, we're completely full. Turn you all the way off. Our water is low. These need power. Arrgh. Um. Can power lines cross underneath pipes? Oh, it's like they can. Hallelujah. Should put it right there. Oh well. All right, so uh, I like how I'm adding power to buildings that need power that Research I can't complete. run because I need power. Makes sense. But hey, we can upgrade our turbines now. So with that, I would like to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please give me a like button and let me know, and I will continue producing some Surviving Mars content just for you. You can find a playlist of Surviving Mars down in the description below or on my channel, and you can also find links to my Twitch and Patreon page. Thank you so much for all of your support, everybody. Please hit that like and subscribe and leave a comment and let me know what I am doing wrong. And with that, farewell everybody. I'll see you next time.